Hi guys! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Mary, and if you're returning viewer, thank you for coming back. Today, like it says in the title, I am going to do a Valentine's look, but it's going to be a red look. So when I think of Valentine's, I think of pinks and reds. Since the last eye look I did was a pink one with the Amrezi palette, I thought today I would do a red inspired Valentine's eye look. Can you guess who the star of the show is going to be? The Blood Sugar palette. Yes. In case you forgot what she looks like. There she is, so pretty. And there is some pinks in there. I don't know yet if I am going to incorporate any of those. I think I'm just going to stick to the reds. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, my base is down and I am ready to dig in. For transition shade, I think I'm going to use Cake Mix right here. Oh my goodness, guys, are you excited that Valentine's is on a Friday this year? Holy guacamole, isn't that awesome? Now, I don't know about you guys, I don't really necessarily like going out on actual Valentine's Day because it's always so busy, you know, and I just don't do well with big crowds. Luckily for me, my fiance will be home for Valentine's Day. I just don't know if we are even going to go out and do anything. We probably should. We haven't really had an actual romantic date in quite some time. Okay guys, that, that color is laid down and it is beautiful. I really, really, really love this color. It's perfect transition shade. And I'm using a E35 from Sigma. I think I am going to go in with Blood Sugar and it's this very pretty color right here. It does look like it has a little bit of like sheen to it, but I don't think that'll be a problem. We should be fine, I think. I'm using my Sigma E25. That's a pretty color. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, so beautiful. So pretty. Oh, I love it. So pretty. You guys like red? So my favorite color is red. I don't know if I have mentioned that on my channel before. And the funniest thing is like I don't wear red eyeshadow often, which I mean, it's kind of hard because red is such a bold color, you know? So it's like, when you're wearing red, you're you're like, you're given a statement when you wear red. <laughs> okay, that color is laid down and it is so pretty. So even though it's red, I feel like it has a very, very small, like, red orange tint to it but it is a beautiful color i love it the next color i'm going to dig into is going to be prick and that's this pretty very bright red here i am going to use the same brush which is my e25 um i just went ahead and wiped it down to make sure that there was no more of that other color and i'm going to focus this color in the inner crease of my eye Hopefully you can tell the difference between those two reds, although I do think that you can since it's brighter. It almost, I almost feel like it looks like a bright pink. At least right now that I'm laying it down, that's what it looks like, but it's fine. We will make it work. It's a very beautiful color. I love it. And if you don't have the blood sugar palette, guys, you can use whatever palette you have on hand that has different shades of red. You don't necessarily have to have this palette to create this look. Okay, guys, now I'm going to do a half cut crease and I'm using my concealer brush from Sigma F70. And I put some concealer on the back of my hand and I'm just dipping in. 
and doing a half cut crease on my eye. The crease is cut on both eyes. And I'm actually going to try something different today. So let's hope that it turns out okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get that same brush that I used for the conceal conce concealer. <laughs> but I'm just going to use the other end that I didn't put or dip the brush into the concealer. 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 And I am actually going to dig into a color here. And I think that color I'm going to dig into is going to be Donor. And that's that very pretty like brassy gold right here. I am not going to go all over the lid. I am just going to go along the line of where I created the crease in the inner crease and make it as thin as possible. I think I want just a gold line right there. All right, got my color here. Well, let's dig in. And you'll see here in a minute how I'm going to create that gold line. Okay, got it down on that side. Let me do the other. And this is what I have. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go back and create a line of just that gold with concealer and the same concealer brush. I wiped it off so it's clean. Wish me good luck. Okay guys, I hope you can see what I did there. See how there's just a gold line? I hope it looks okay. <laughs> okay, so I did put the lights up just so you could see exactly what I did. What do you think? So now the color I'm going to add to the rest of the lid is going to be Candy Floss, and it's this pretty little metallic color here. I'm going to use actually the concealer brush and hope that it lays down properly with this brush. If I need to wet it, I'll wet it, but I just want to make sure that I stay nice and precise, you know? Okay, that looks pretty. At least I think it does. Okay guys, I think so far so good. I do feel like it looks pretty decent. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into this inner corner here that's a little bare with a little bit of a dark color um, just so I can really deepen up that outer corner. The color I am going to dig into is going to be fresh meat right here. Uh, let's uh, dig in. I'm using my Sigma E43 and it's a very, very small brush. I'm kind of bring it down to like an angle. Can you see that? All right, and this is what the eye looks like so far. I am really, really, really liking it. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and do my lower lash line really quick. And I'm just going to dig in to that very first transition shade, the cake mix. And then I'm going to dig into blood sugar. And then to top it off, close to the lash line, I am going to dig into the darkest one that I use, which is fresh meat. Sorry. I am using just an e.l.f. brush and it's like a small blending brush. Now I'm switching to the Morphe in Jaclyn Hill Collection JH43. It looks like that. And this is what I'm using for that darkest shade that I used in the outer corner. This is what the finished eye look looks like. Oh my goodness, it came out 
more beautiful than I thought it was. And I am in love with this. I look like literally I am. I'm, I love this and I should wear red eyeshadow more often. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I will come back to you guys. Since we are keeping it in kind of like the Jeffree Star Cosmetics family, I am going to go in with the Jeffree Star Skin Frost Peach Goddess Highlighter. I will, sh I would show you what it looks like, but it's actually shattered. When I first purchased this, literally the very first day that I got it in the mail, my daughter dropped it and see how it's like all, I had to like press it in and it's a mess so yeah <laughs> but I cannot like I cannot toss it I can't bear tossing it I just can't and I honestly don't want to purchase another one because I have this one and like even though yeah it like it's shattered it still works you know didn't get damaged other than than it shattering so I'm just still keeping it because I cannot bear to throw away a brand new highlight that is only defective because my daughter dropped it. <laughs> Let me know if that has ever happened to you down below, like either you or if you have children, if they have ever literally broken something of yours and like it hurts you so much and you're just like like you don't even know what the hell to do with with yourself at that moment in time like I honestly I, I didn't even know how to react to it because literally I just opened it just looked at it kind of swatched it in my finger and They said it would be fun to have kids, didn't they? And we are done. I love that highlight. Um, it has a peachy undertone in it. So I feel like even though it is very blinding, it still looks very reasonable. And if you're going out on Valentine's Day, girl, you better put on all the highlights. <laughs> Okay guys, tell me what you think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you wear it? I hope I inspire someone to kind of go outside of your box for Valentine's Day, especially if you're going on a date. You know, like do something that you wouldn't normally do so that your husband can be like, wow, honey, you look great. What did you do? I know whenever I do like a very bold eye look, my fiance is always like, whoa, like that looks good. I think you guys should do it definitely for Valentine's Day. It's a special occasion and I don't see why not. Okay guys, I hope you loved the look I created with the blood sugar palette. I had so much fun playing with it. I had so much fun playing with the reds and that little bit of gold. Like I think this eye look came out beautiful. It came out perfect. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and if we go out on a date i think i might wear this eye look well if you do end up recreating this look please let me know down below i would love to hear that you tried and if you have an instagram make sure and tag me i would love to see pictures of any looks that you try and recreate that i have made that would make my day well i hope you guys have a great valentine's day whether you go out or not this video should be going up on monday so the monday before valentine's day thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you we are almost at 200 subscribers and as soon as we hit 200 subscribers i really want to do a giveaway you know just to say thank you to all of you from your support and being here and watching my videos it really means the world to me guys okay well if you haven't done so already i would love it if you joined my small youtube family and i promise i don't bite i'm super nice and i can be funny sometimes no i can be funny <laughs> and if you love this i love please make sure and give this video a like and I will see you on the next video. Bye. In a loop.